Hello and welcome to the channel. Thank you again for watching the video, subscribing, all that good stuff. And when it comes to subscribing, why aren't you subscribed yet? If you are, thank you very much. And like the video, that helps out very, very immensely. Now let's go ahead and talk about this. When it comes to future, um, everybody is focusing on electric car and um, some of the manufacturers are actually starting to focus on the autonomous version of their vehicles. Um, huge one is Tesla. We've seen how their system works and they're pretty much kind of like open with it, sort of. Um, we should, we've seen details of how their system works and everything. And another company that I saw was Honda is also working on the autonomous version level three. Um, from what I saw, it's coming along really nicely right now. They're testing in Japanese in Japanese <laughs> in Japan and then once they test it out really thoroughly in that small market then they will eventually you know come over here in like a few years or so because it's autonomous is not yet ready now another company that's doing autonomy is actually Toyota Toyota is instead of developing their own they decided to buy Lyft um, autonomous division for a lot of money so here we go. So they're buying Lyft's um, autonomous division for $550 million because Lyft is actually abandoning that whole thing. Lyft is the latest company to abandon the expensive developments of autonomous vehicles. But Toyota, Toyota has the money. Um, so does a lot of big, um, you know, companies that already have it but who knows how far along Lyft has actually done in development but anyway let's go through this article and it's a long one so yeah stay with me Lyft is selling its autonomous vehicle division to subsidiary subsidiary of uh, Toyota the latest in a series of acquisition that is seeing the world of self-driving cars grow increasingly smaller within plant holdings a subsidiary of Toyota will acquire Lyft's self-driving division level five for 550 million in cash damn 200 million which was provided to lift up front damn okay the rest of the money 350 will be paid out to lift over five years the ride hauling company says it will see an annual savings of 100 million of non gaap expenses which claims it will better position to ultimately earn a profit Toyota has also agreed to use Lyft's fleet data and platform for commercial service and eventually launches under its woven, woven plant subsidiary. The deal, with, which is expected to close in the third quarter of 2021, brings to an end of Lyft's four-year journey toward developing and deploying its own self-driving cars. Another company that's doing that is Uber as well because they want to, um, you know, they want to cash in because if you no longer have to pay people to drive around and do that stuff, you save more money and you actually make more money. So you're just cutting out the middleman and getting that money straight into your pockets. Um, another company that supposedly be, is going to be doing that is Tesla as well with the robo taxi. So that's why you have all that kind of technology that's in the vehicle right now. And once everything is implemented, that they will be, you know, like you can put your car out to be rented by anybody and they can just, it just drives itself. So that's kind of cool idea too. The company follows a rival Uber in offloading its costly autonomous vehicle division in a bid to stop losing so much money. Last year, Uber sold its AV project to Aurora. Yes, so a startup founded by the former head of Google's self-driving divisions or projects. So it seems like everybody's just, <laughs> they don't have the money. I mean, Uber is a billion dollar company, but they don't have the kind of resources or deep pocket enough to kind of keep putting money in it, I guess. Uh, so does Lyft. Um, but they should have sold it to big company like Apple or whatever, because Apple has the freaking money. So does Microsoft. I mean, they can sell it to one of those big tech companies and then they can develop the technology and then sell it back to them for twice or three times the money if they want to use that technology or they can lease that technology for them to have it for an assortment of fees or something like that i don't know i don't know but sometimes of course lyft did not uh, experience the tragedy of overseeing a self-driving car killing a pedestrian in uber did in 2018 rather lyft's project was small scale but productive it mostly consists of pilot projects in las vegas 
what active using self-driving cars with safety drivers to conduct tens of thousands of taxi trips. That project is now being overseen by emotional aptives joint venture with Hyundai and Lyft is involved. So I guess um, I'll just leave it there. You know, the big news here is that Lyft is no longer, you know, developing their division of autonomous vehicles. Um, I think it would have made them a shit ton of money once that product has actually been released and you don't have to rely on people driving cars or their own cars to, um, you know, pick people up and then you guys get a percentage. Um, the, well, it's a win-win for both. If you think about it, um, with Lyft and Uber abandoning the uh, autonomous vehicle, um, it gives people a chance to kind of keep working those jobs, which is kind of a good thing, right? Um, circle of life, everybody make money, everybody's happy. But if I was the company, I would have just stick in there and just keep, um, you know, developing that technology until it is ready, because in the long run, it will make you a lot more money if because that's what corporations want to do. They in it to make money as much of it as possible. But anyway, this is good news for Toyota. Um, so I can't wait to see what they actually have to offer. Um, all we know now, or well, all the major companies, especially Toyota and Honda, all they have is just the lane keeping assist. Um, all that other stuff that's just standard with every vehicle that they come out with. Um, I'm not sure about Toyota, but Honda, it's across the board. All that sensing suit is included. Um, but hey, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're lurking. I always appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. Have a good one.